Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome to part 3 of my, um, Nintendo, or my Wii Shop channel, uh, video series, where I am basically archiving the, what it looked like to use the Wii Shop channel, uh, before it shuts down. So last time what I did is I went through the shopping guide. Uh, today I'm going to be going through settings and features, titles you've downloaded, and account activity account activity if I have time. I should be able to at least do settings and features and titles you've downloaded. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and the links to the previous videos in this series are in the description, as well as a link to the playlist if I forget to update the links to each of the videos. So in here, it shows the list of settings. And they got rid of the link a uh, Club Nintendo account because that shut down in, whoa, wait, 2015 was it? Wow, that's a long time ago now. Oh, that's a really long time ago. Anyway, um, uh, so we've got Wii Download Ticket. I've never used this. With a Wii Download Ticket, you can enter a code to download software. If you need to download a title you've already redeemed, select Titles You've Downloaded from the main menu and choose the title. In that, in this text right here says please enter the Wii Download Ticket Code. Oh. That's a text box right there. And it brings up the, um, uh, um, not very good software keyboard. I, I guess okay for 2006, but now, now it's a lot worse. At least you can plug in a keyboard and use that. You know, that's nice. So I'm just gonna do quit. If I do okay, it'll say error code, and then give the error number. The Wii download ticket code you entered is incorrect. Visit support.nintendo.com for assistance. So I'm just going to quit that. Under gift settings. You've set your you've set your Wii to receive gifts. Your Wii friends are able to send you gifts. If you would like to change your settings so that you do not receive gifts, select the don't receive icon below. So if I do this, it'll say you have successfully updated your gift settings. Oh, and we have to it goes back to here, but I'm going to turn that back on. Now I'm going to have it receive it. You have successfully updated your gift settings. Thank you for telling me. Um, if I do remove Wii Shop channel account, uh, I am not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. But... That exists, and I hope somebody can archive that, uh, if they don't care. Well, you know what? I have another Nintendo Wii. Maybe I can use that to, um, I can use that Wii console to show what happens when you remove a Wii Shop channel account. So I'll do that. Not yet, but maybe in another video I can do that. So basically I want to archive as much as I can with this Wii console on the Wii Shop channel, and if I don't get around to recording a video with my other Wii console, uh, then that's okay. Uh, I won't be upset or anything, but just that would be a little bit of a disappointment. But I'll, uh, I want to try to do that if I can. Under titles you've downloaded, I have no idea what's in this list other than, like, everything that's on my home menu. Or, yeah, my home menu. Okay, so we have Amazon Instant Video, Internet Channel, Magnetica Twist, Mario Kart 64, Mario Party 2, Netflix, Nintendo Channel, wow, remember that? That was a long time ago. 
Maybe I'll download, maybe I really should download these. Yeah, I will. I think I will. Uh, before it goes off. Super Mario 64, one of the best platformers in the 90s. Uh, Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario World. Under page two, we've got Super Smash Bros. I was, uh, in the, right in the middle of it, I was gonna, like, do the menu, um, like, kind of imitate the announcer when he says the title of the game. But then I kind of didn't, so yeah. Um, so under internet channel, um, this is the this is the web browser for the Nintendo Wii. Something that not even the Nintendo Switch has officially yet. I mean, it has a lockdown browser, and you can use um, some programs. Burp Suite, I think you can use to allow you to go to basically any website using the built-in internal web browser. Anyway, I'm not going to go too far into this right now in the um, software title details. So I'm just going to go back. Oh, this is I really like these buttons, how they turn orange. Like they're blue. Like the um, packaging that promoted the Wii Shop, the Wii Shop channel originally. Oh, this was released on April 11th, 2007. Well, this is now a tw almost a 12-year-old um, application in the Wii Shop channel. So anyway, I'm going to be moving on now to account activity. Yay! I don't know if I can go into the credit card areas. I'll take a look at that. If they provide... Uh, detailed information then I will cover up everything that I will either cut out that part or cut out or cover up everything that um, shouldn't be shown I should be able to show these other details here right in here so I have four pages so uh, actually let's go to the first one Page four. Uh, the first thing I downloaded on November 9th of that year was the internet channel um, for zero Wii points. And then on November 15th of that year, uh, I had a software download of the Nintendo channel for zero Wii points. And then on uh, February, February 26, 2011, I redeemed a Wii Points card. Uh, content was Wii Points card uh, for 2,000 points. And my Wii Points balance at that time was 2,000 points. And I bought that at GameStop. I remember um, buying it at the GameStop there in town. And I did that to um, buy... Super Mario World, and the same day I, as I redeemed the card, I downloaded, downloaded Super Mario World for 800 Wii points. Current Wii point balance is 1,200 points. Oh, I have to... Is there anything else? Oh, I can push left down here. Hmm. So the next thing that I bought uh, was on March 13th, 2011 software download of Super Mario 64. Uh, one of the best, as I said before, one of the best 3D platformers of the 90s. I've played that game so many times that at this point I really don't like playing through it, but I also really like the game, so it's like, yeah. Um, so that was 1,000 points, so I'm down to 200 points. So on, uh, wow, that was... Two years later, on April 20th, 2013, I had a Wii Points purchase with a credit card, 1,000 points, 1,200 at my current Wii Points balance, and then on the same day, I bought uh, Magnetica Twist 
for 1,000 points, and I had 200 points left over. On May 29th, 2013, I bought 1,000 Wii points with the, well, debit card, and then I was up to 1,200 points. And then on November, May 29th, hold on, yeah, same day, uh, I downloaded Super Mario, Bro Mario Bros for 700 points. Uh, no, I mean 500 points. And I got current Wii points balance for 700. On August 9th, 2013, I downloaded Netflix for zero Wii points. And then August, also August 9th, 2013, I downloaded Amazon Instant Video, uh, zero Wii points, 700 uh, Wii points. On June 7th, 2014, 2014, I redeemed, oh, I actually did redeem a Wii download ticket, uh, from Club Nintendo for Mario Kart 64. Uh, zero, plus zero Wii points, and I still had, um, 700 Wii points left over. On July 9th, 2014, I bought 1,000 Wii points with the debit card, so I was up to 1,700. Um, on July 9th, 2014, oh, the same day, I downloaded Super Smash Bros. for 1,000, uh, Wii points. And then on May 27th, 2015, I bought, uh, I did a Wii Points purchase with the debit card of 1,000 Wii Points, and that took me up to 1,700 Wii Points. And then on the same day, May 27th, 2015, but I mean, that's not really, I don't really need to say that. Uh, I made a software download of Mario Party 2, uh, one of the better Mario Party games in the Nintendo 64 lineup. Um, I've heard Mario Party 3 is pretty good, but I'm not too sure. I just know that Mario Party 2 is like one of the best choices they could have chosen for the N64 games. Um, that was 1000 Wii points and current Wii point balance is 700. So I'm going to go into one of these, Mario Party 2. Oh, okay, so if you buy something, it only has a gift option. Release January f January of 2000. This video, or this game came out after I was born, several months after I was born. Um, I wonder what it has under more details. Oh, this is just the... <laughs> this is actually really funny. Get ready to party like it's the year 2000 all over again. Complete with fancy costumes, bags of surprises, and games galore. Mario and his Mushroom Kingdom friends return for a brand new round of uh, Bowser bashing board game action in Mario Party 2. Each of your favorite characters down different themed outfits to take part in five fun packed adventure boards. Pirate Land, Western Land, sp um... Space Land, Quadrant Land, and Horror Land. Then battle Bowser on his own specific board, if you're brave enough. <laughs> Up to four players can play, traveling around the boards and competing in minigames for coins, while also using items to gain an advantage. Win the most stars and become the ultimate victor, the superstar. Um, or if you simply feel like proving your minigame medal, visit Minigame Land to purchase and play minigames that you played during the game. Head to the minigame stadium and replay your favorites, including the item battle duel and uh, chance time minigames. I really like Mario Party 2. Uh, view compatible controllers. Uh, this shows that we can use a classic controller or a GameCube controller. 
Uh, the text up here says, Please note the following when downloading this software. Use of a Classic Controller or Classic Controller Pro sold separately is recommended for this game. This game cannot be played using the Wii Remote by itself. The Virtual Console version of this game does not support the Rumble Pack feature that was available in the original N64 title. Got all that? Good. Because I'm going away now. But not really, I'm just going out of here. So, um... Under Mario Kart 64, this is the one that I use the Wii Download Ticket Code for. And it doesn't really have anything specific. Though it does have the same stuff. I guess you could pause it here if you wanted to, but I'm going away now. Oh no. I guess this is what happens when I record videos at 1.51 a.m. Mario Kart 64. I'm probably not going to read this. Maybe, maybe not. Put the metal, pedal to the metal in this worthy successor to the Super NES Classic. Yes, this is actually way better in my opinion than the Super Nintendo version. Super Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64 boasts great graphics, tons of unique power-ups, and a stunning 3D version of the legendary battle mode. Block Fortress is the best. And also the multi-level one is really good. Um, with improved courses and a revolutionary head-to-head four-player mode that only plays uh, audio for the... Um, that doesn't play music sometimes because of RAM limitations. Um, Mario Kart 64 is sure to win the heart of any race driving fan. The game includes 20 different courses filled with dips, valleys, jumps, tunnels, and bridges better than Sonic. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, what is that game? Better than Sonic Forces. Smooth, precise control, a trademark of all games from the from Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto. We'll bring you back time and time again for freewheeling fun. It is a really good game. Not the best, but still really good. It's not as good as on the original Nintendo 64 though. Um, but at least, at least Nintendo made it so that um, the virtual console versions of Mario Kart 64, so that they don't, the lightning doesn't cause any problems for people who are susceptible to seizures. So that's really good. I'm glad they did that. But the controls are a little bit off or something. So anyway, Amazon Instant Video. Oh, I can update it. You might want to do that eventually. Also, notice this used Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. They're going to be shutting down all of these on the 30 on January 31st. Amazon Instant Video has more than 145,000 titles, including new release movies and in-season TV episodes to rent or purchase. In addition, Amazon Prime members can watch thousands of videos at no additional cost to their membership. Content only available in English. Oh, by the way, here's the pictures. I hope that it was good enough for the other ones that you could see them. Here's the compatible controllers. You can use this software only with the Wii Remote. Wait, did that say Wi-Fi? Yes, Wi-Fi. Um, uh, shouldn't they s that say streaming? St yeah, streaming video. Hmm, that's weird. Anyway, view compatible controllers, Wii Remote. More details. With your Netflix membership, you can watch as many movies and TV episodes as you want for a low monthly fee that keeps going up every few years. Unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming from Netflix right to your TV using your Wii console. Instantly watch as many 
instantly watch as often as you want, anytime you want. Isn't that the same thing? Browse movies and TV episodes right on your TV. You decide what to watch and when to watch. Download and install Netflix to get started. New Netflix members can start their one month free trial today. Cancel anytime. Netflix unlimited membership required. See terms of use online. Content available in English and Spanish. Well, I guess that's actually about enough for this video. It's actually getting quite long now, so um... See you in part four, I guess. Hopefully I'll be able to go through the rest, the other ones in here. Uh, obviously I can't go through Wii Points card unless I do have that somewhere. I have no idea. Hopefully I do have that somewhere still. So, um, see you in part four. Goodbye for now. Okay, now I need to go into We Shop Channel. <laughs> A bit retro. Ah, ah, ah. Okay.